just me and my guitar Hey everyone, this is DJ. Welcome to my channel. Got a quick video for you guys again today. I know a couple of days ago I uploaded a video showing you how to get the downloader app since it wasn't available in the Play Store. Well, we got some good news today. The downloader app is back available into the Play Store. This is on the Android TV Play Store. Um, I think it's a very good app to have. It allows you to do a lot of things. You can get direct downloads or use the browser. And I find it very useful, and that's why I like this one. So to get it, you just got to go to your apps. You can access from here and go get more apps. Or you can click on the Google Play Store and the apps uh, role that you have there. From here, just scroll up to the search icon. Go to the right. And all you have to do is type in Downloader. And as you can see, it already finds it on the top. Click on Downloader by Troy Point. Now, Troy Point bought it from AFTV News. Ever since um, Elias Saba moved over to Amazon as a product manager, he wasn't using the website anymore. He put all his time in there. So Troy Point purchased it from AFTV News, and now he owns it. And he found a way, I guess, to put it back onto the Play Store. Now from here, just click on it and click on Install. And once it's done, you can go back to your home page. And you can access it from all apps over here if you scroll down. Or if you want to add it to your apps row, scroll to the little plus sign, click on there, click on it. And then from there, you can just move it if you want. I'm going to place it to the front. And now if we launch it, you're going to have to allow it in the for beginning. Click Allow, click OK. Now one thing in here, this is like originally like when it was uploaded in the Play Store a few years ago. In order for you to use the browser feature, if you click on browser now, as you can see, it's not available. If you go back to home and in here, let's go back to the address bar, type in browser.aftvnews.com and press OK. Now, this is the first time we installed it, so we got to go to our settings to allow access. Scroll down, enable that to install unknown sources. Click on back. And we'll click install one more time. And then scroll down to install. Now that's done. And then you can click on delete for now. Or if you click on done, I can show you a different way to do that. Now, if we go back to our browser, there we go. We got a full working browser in here too. And that's one of the reasons why I like this because you got, if we scroll back to the left and go back home, you can input direct links from here. Or even if you press a website, it will bring you from there. So let's say, let's type in firelink.com. You can go in here and you got the website working right away. Which you can just go right down here and click on download file linked. Scroll down, click on install. That's done. And then the same thing if you went back home. Instead of typing in firelink.com. In here you could have just put in get dot file link dot com that's a direct link and if you press OK it will download the file from there we'll just cancel that and click on delete and then if you want click on delete again that confirms it now in order for you to delete the other files that you had just go to files on the left side long press the OK button and click on delete and the same thing for the other app click on delete and they got removed from your device. Once you install them, there's no need to keep them. If you want to hold on to them just in case, like if the downloader app goes away again, might as well have them. You can move them to a USB drive or put them on your computer. But for now, if you're good, you just delete it from there. 
and that's about it. Now, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you guys use the downloader app? How much do you think it's useful? What do you think? Let me know. Well, that should do it for today. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know what, that you like what I do here, and it does help my channel grow. Also, click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified of any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching. This is DJ. Till next time. Just me and my